tell us about that? Yeah, they, I'm a contributor to Fox News. I'm on that once every two weeks. Nice. And uh, with Jesse Waters. Okay. Uh, you have to go and watch. Uh, I'm pretty fucking funny on there. And, they, and I don't cuss. I don't say anything out of line. I, and But they never tell me you can and can't say this. They have never even said to me. Really? Swear to God. They have never set me down and said, you know what, don't pull your dick out. Because usually you have to tell me that first. Y'all told me when I came in. Yeah. What? It still might happen, but I'm just saying, y'all just gave me what you wanted. What? You what? Wait. Yes. Oh, God. It's going to happen. Oh, wait. Oh, you just what? have to, like Puffy, you just got to let it happen. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. You want this record deal, don't you? Take what? that. Take that. Wow. Take that. Take that. <laughs> yeah, now it has a whole new meaning. Yeah. Yes, it does. Yeah. Oh, God. But... Um, they've never told me once, even before we do the show, they've never said, you can't say this, don't do this. And it's amazing how it, how it works. Um, I think I've, how many, I've been doing it since. For a few months now, yeah, right? January. Yeah. I've been doing it since January. So every two weeks you go on there on Fox News and the, the, do you guys just, do you give your commentary on political issues, racial yeah. issues on, on everything? Political issues, racial issues. It's kind of turned into like, my segment is more like a, um. Like, I guess it's, it ends up being satire because, as you see, I speak that way. Yeah, yeah. It's the most calm way to speak before you get into saying something that's going to really piss somebody off. For sure. You got to make them laugh. It's kind of like what you do to a virgin. You slap in the face first. So you, <laughs> you what? You don't do that? You pull the punch them? <laughs> so they don't. So they will concentrate Coco on the punch! What? Yeah, they didn't learn this in school. They, they, no. You don't need to kiss them first or something? No. You See, it's going to hurt. So if you punch them. They can concentrate on the, oh, you hit me. Ah, oh, yeah, it's him. <laughs> <laughs> so they forget. And it's like, you know what you do to kids when they get a shot? Yeah. When you kids, you, you, you turn, they make, you make them think about something else before you jab them? Yeah. Y'all, you. That's the old school. Yeah. Method. Yeah, that's old school. Did, did you have, at least have R&B music in the background? Oh, no, no, they don't even do that. These hood rats don't play R&B oh, music. Oh, shit. This is the hood, ain't it? No, they be playing Future when they be fucked. Oh, shit. <laughs> you didn't see how weird that shit is? That's they true. turn they you yeah. off. Type shit. Yeah. The hardest music they could possibly find to have sex is crazy. But I, um, they really allow me, they give me leeway to talk about politics in the way that I see them yeah. and I get to talk about a lot of stuff like with that Jasmine uh, Crockett chick I don't know if y'all saw what happened when she called a girl the bleach blonde bad built what did I, you know oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, this bitch is on the floor of the house talking like this oh yeah there's and, a clip going around yeah, yeah and all of the black chicks was loving that and I was talking about number one if you pull up any pictures of her, she built like SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> so why would you say that somebody's bad built when you look like you from Bikini Bottom? One. Two, she got a head full of somebody else's hair on her head. They can never wear their own hair. But they got an excuse for why they're wearing somebody else's hair. But don't let a white bitch get cornrows. She's cultural appropriating. Yeah. What yeah. the fuck are you doing with that big blonde wig on? Or braids. Yeah, they're like, okay. So... I said they push the sassy black woman, the out of line black woman, and I yeah. pointed out to them if you look at all. You her, said this on Fox News. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. If you push, if you look at all of her old clips, she doesn't talk like that. But they know that in order to get the black woman and the black vote, the more ratchet you act, because remember, the Democrats are the only party that's presenting the most ratchet bitches. As a reason why you should vote for them. True. They Se had Glorilla. Sexy Red. Sexy Red. Yep. Uh, what's the uh, Meg the Stallion? Meg the Stallion. And Cardi B. They have the most ratchet bitches, and they put them out there for black women to identify with. Now, why is it that black women don't stop and say, "Wait a minute"? Why do you keep saying that the most ratchet behavior identifies with us? Even the non-black, so-called black vice president. Remember what she said. I used to smoke weed and listen to Biggie and Tupac back in 1985. Well, no, you didn't, bitch. <laughs> First off, Biggie was six yep. in 85. Yep. He was wrong on that. <laughs> Second off, though, why did you have to tell people you related to them by smoking weed? Why couldn't you be doing something of substance? Well, if you look at it, that's what black women identify. Black women identify with the Degenerative I shit. get you told, who gonna check me, boo. All of this type of attitude, and now it's incentivized by you'll become did this girl after she called her bad built bleach body whatever it is she started selling shirts the next day with the saying on it this is uh, a senator wow and 
this type of behavior is they're they're happy about it. Like hell, I'd love to be able to talk with y'all about Caitlin Clark and WNBA because that shit pisses me off. Yeah, what go they're ahead. doing. Go ahead. Okay. For those that are unaware, if you could just bring them up to speed on what that, what, who she is, and what's going yeah. on with that. Yeah, you might not be up to uh, fish smelling uh, dykes <laughs> who who try to shoot basketball. But that's what they are. They just run around <laughs> shooting layups all damn day and then coming yeah. home smelling like Joe's Crab Shack. Yeah. How uh, dare you? I know. Brittany? Uh, <laughs> Brittany Griner sound like a whole shack? nigga, boy. Yeah. <laughs> he literally. And I just, I'm just I'm at the club and shit, you know, because I'm on my period. What? We traded her for a fucking the, the, um, merchant of death. Oh, what? Yeah, that's crazy. Victor but, Bout. But doesn't that tell you how black how they feel about black women? Yeah. That the country will sit up there and just give us this bitch. That was a political chess move by Biden to secure more black votes. Black vote. Yep. That's, that nope. was 100%. Because if you look on paper, that was one of the dumbest trades I've ever seen in my life. For those that are unaware, I did a Fed Reacts episode on this. We basically, Griner goes to Russia, gets arrested for having like weed or like some so hash like or pen. some shit uh -huh. yeah. like in her pen. She's in jail for like, what, nine, eight months, almost a year? So we had a guy in custody who was a Russian named Victor Boot who was l convicted for selling arms to a bunch of different war-torn countries all over Africa. This dude was responsible for like millions of fucking deaths yes. and wars all over um, Africa and the destabilization. He was selling them weapons at a low price, etc. He basically took um, surplus weaponry from the Soviet Union and sold it at a, at a discount. Made a bunch of money. He ends up getting caught in Thailand by the DEA. He gets arrested. I don't know why the DEA did that case. That's, that's weird. But either regardless, the point is that he does a bunch of federal time and we traded him... For Brittany Griner to get her back. A WNBA chick who NBA said player. she hated yep. America. Wow. Yep. Who would not stand for the national anthem. Yep. That shit. Yep. And we traded and being merchant fair, death for her. Nobody watches the WNBA anyway. Yeah, but that's what that's just it. Yeah. So she didn't even have that type of clout politically or personally or stature-wise in the United States, and they still did it for a guy that was a murderer. You want to know something interesting? I bet you if Brittany Griner was a white woman, they wouldn't have gave a shit. Oh no! Mm. I don't think they would have pushed as hard as they did to get her out of there. Yeah, because they they would have they would have been able to have a logical discussion of why this is not a good trade. Yeah, but didn't matter, and that's probably the worst trade since Rudy Gobert got sent to the Timberwolves. But we'll go to we'll <laughs> move past that. Um, Damn, um, it's okay. a bad trade. They gave up five number one picks for that motherfucker. Yo. The defensive player of the year, he out there looking like he on skates and shit. <laughs> I go like he got cooked. This yeah. son of a bitch, tall got, and he, worthless. He got cooked the entire playoffs. How the best game they played was when he was going to get a check on his baby mama. Tell me I'm lying. The game he missed <laughs> against Denver the, was the, the best first. game they played. Damn. I'm sorry, not let me get into that shit because I lost some money. I lost yeah. money on that. Lost money on holes on X. This is a bad week. <laughs> um, but yeah. let me let, let's talk. Clark. He was right though. Yeah, let's let me tell you about Caitlin Clark. Yeah. Caitlin Clark has brought so many eyes to women's basketball that it's amazing. A dude named uh, Sa uh, Acho, I forgot his last first name is something Acho. Um, Emmanuel Acho. Yeah, yeah. He did. He showed how in five days before the draft, she made the WNBA more money than they would have made in the next five years without her. That's Damn. a big deal because everybody knows that the WNBA is not profitable every single year. It has yeah. never made a profit since yeah. its inception. Yeah. This will be the first year. She sells out. Oh, they're actually going to become profitable now. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. And it's literally because of her. Okay. Now, imagine you bringing all this. This is the first year that they don't. Most of the time, if you if you just look and see a bunch of tall, stanking bitches when you get ready <laughs> to get on the Southwest Airlines, yeah. it's the WNBA team. Uh -huh. And I'm not lying. These bitches are flying with you. On Southwest. <laughs> <laughs> that was the team. But look it up. I'm not lying. <laughs> they were. Now, because she's there, they have private jets, finally. First year. Wow. So they don't have to fly with other motherfuckers trying to get the best deal on Priceline. Wow. Uh -huh. Yeah. <gasps> That's what they were doing. Hey, that I was, didn't know that. That was, that was deep, Priceline. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. Go to your happy price. Priceline. God damn. Um, God damn. Sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, go, go ahead, finish it, and I'll segue to the next okay. thing. But, so, yeah. he showed how much money she's brought them. And yet, black chicks are really pissed off. No one would watch if, if, if she wasn't white. They actually had a woman named Sonny Hoshton, who was on The View. She said that the Caitlin Clark effect is because she's white and pretty. 
Caitlin Clark looked like a nigga I sold meth with. <laughs> that is not an attractive woman. She's not. She looked like any rock band's lead guitar. Damn. She looked like him. You pull up any picture of this bitch. She's not cute. <laughs> Bills, could, could you pull her real you quick? You pull up yeah. a picture of Caitlin Clark. She is not cute. Can't she's she's a very handsome sir. sir. Uh -huh. That's what she is. She's handsome. Now, that being said, they don't care because they're going to keep saying she's white and they don't want her around because she or she should be getting that attention. But did they say that shit about Serena Williams when they were getting attention specifically? You're right. In tennis, black? no. Yeah. Nope. Did they say that they about Tiger her. Woods? Nope. You're right. Imagine if white folks had said that about Tiger Woods. Let's that go, upset Tommy. Upset. Yep. That he's bringing them eyes they never had. All facts. Yeah. But they're upset that Caitlin Clark is bringing them eyes that they never had, and they're saying that it's only because she's white, not because this bitch can shoot jumpers from 75 feet away. Yeah. Again. This is a girl that competed against Steph Curry, right? Yes! Oh, yes. okay, okay. I know who she is now. Now, I know who she is now. If yeah. I was Caitlin Clark, I would take my talents to Saudi Arabia, where I can make some real fucking money and not be talked shit like I am in the United States by the, the people I'm helping. Mm. Black women are so fucking ungrateful that instead of saying this is great that this girl has got eyes on a sport that nobody else want to watch they're bring, making it about race every day yeah of course and if you watch the games the other players are trying to hurt her yeah wow this is insane and she says nothing she doesn't say anything meanwhile the one they call the ghetto barbie or, or whatever her name is that angel reese she's like six foot four and all she does is shoot layups. And black girls love this chick, but her games don't sell out. And it's one thing that I notice about black chicks. What they say is different than what they do. Mm. Yeah, That's yeah. why they call themselves queens and then go around and twerk and suck dick on X. Mm. It's the same chick who's saying the same thing. They say they love Angel Reese, but they don't buy her shoes. They mm. don't buy her shirts. Yeah. And they don't go to her games. True. Which if they really wanted to show that the black girl was just important as a white girl... If they just went en masse and showed the support, Caitlyn would not be the figure she was. It would be Angel Reese. Mm -hmm. But they want white people to do all the heavy lifting for them. And that's the problem in the United States because we let women in the black community lead and everybody uses them from the Democrats to the pro-black punks like Tyreek Nasheed. Everybody uses them because they know they're so stupid. All you got to do is tell them they're pretty. They don't have to be pretty. Yeah, Just tell them. That's all they want to hear. No, you're right, man. I mean, I've talked about this too, like the, the crazy double standard where, you know, you can be openly racist and hostile as a black person and no one checks you on it. But if you say anything, but if anyone is critical of the black community, they immediately say you're a coon, whatever it may be. And let's be honest, do white people criticize them? No, because they don't want to be called racist. So if other black people like myself, you say, well, this is some fucked up shit that we got going on. We need to do better. Oh, you were just a coon. You were, you were, what, you were a fucking what, what, a slave nigga, whatever the you fuck. You remember they, they called us now. That's why I made the, the joke Call earlier. Us hmm. We're tethers. We're, you're not black because you're, you're not American. Yeah. That's yeah, a new shit. way they've learned to divide yes. the black voice. So as long as you say something that holds them accountable, because we're not saying anything where we're like, oh, that's just fucked up. No, it's holding you accountable. Yeah. yeah. And they don't want to be held accountable. And it's led with the women. Because if we were doing a show right now, talking about these black men need to get their shit together, these black men need to treat these women better, these black men need to take care of their kids, we'd never get canceled, we'd never get flagged, yeah. we'd be the number one niggas out there. You know who we'd be? Derrick Jackson. Derek Jackson. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, Derek Jackson. I was about to say. Let's fuck it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jackson. We right here. Because he literally, bro. Actually, he's back, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> back making content. Yeah, he is back making content. But, but yeah, like, we would literally be him because dude, that dude made a bag off sure of that did. whole narrative. Yeah, but tell them what they want to hear. And it's yeah. funny. If we got pulled over, me, you, Myron, uh, by the cops, we're all getting arrested. Just for being. Yeah, they don't give a fuck if I'm yeah. Sudanese or you're from Barbados or you're Panamanian. They don't, they don't give a fuck. They don't be like, wait, yeah. uh, you know the family guy when they look at the color chart? <laughs> oh, you match this. <laughs> yeah, all y'all niggas going to jail. Literally, bro. They look in the color chart. Oh, nigga. Okay, boom. Like, mm. oh, no, we don't give a fuck where you're from. I mean, to be fair, I'll be in the fields. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no. That is untrue. No? We wouldn't be in the fields. We'd be so far in the fields that when we ran away, it'd take a week for them to realize we left. <laughs> <laughs> That's how far back we'd be in the field. Yeah, damn. Yeah. We just wait tonight and get a 12 hour head start. They'd never find us. <laughs> <laughs> Especially at nighttime. Yes! So let me ask you about this, uh, Tommy. Obviously, right? I'm transitioning over from, you know, women's sports.